What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on uh, Ben Bishop's availability for the uh, rest of the, the big series uh, against the Blackhawks. According to John Cooper, he'll play it again in the series. He just doesn't know when. Uh, Chicago tying it up 2-2. There's going to be a minimum of six games, uh, meaning there's you know two minimum of two more games that can be played uh, that Bishop can get in. Uh, game five is in Tampa on Saturday night. Uh, you know, the extra day off could be enough to get Bishop back in the lineup. You know, one of those things is what it is. Um, I, if you read my article for Rant and everything else I said with Vajralevsky, I, I, they're in just as good shape with Vajralevsky as they are with uh, with Bishop. Maybe I'm in a minority with that thought process, but I've seen what Vajralevsky can do in the international stage. Um, and, you know, against older competition, both in the AHL and NHL, and then prior to that in the K, um, and you know that that's a rare sort of confidence to see that um, such a young player, and uh, it's something that you, you know you want to see. This kid will be 21 till July, and you know he's already gone in there and uh, you know won a game in the Stanley Cup final, and then came in and started a game, and um, you know wasn't you know. It, Kept playing him again. You know, gave him a chance to win. Uh, you know, if Stan Kroos hits that easy, you know, shot there, or proverbially easy, scoring goals really isn't an easy thing. Take him someone that um, didn't score a lot of them. Uh, you know, statistically, 17 shots, uh, 17 saves, 19 shots isn't, oh my god, the greatest, but I, you can live with that. If you told me coming into tonight, that'd be his. First of all, if you told me it starts, I'd be like, okay. Um, and then it start it stops 17 on 19. Got, you know what? I, I can live with that, even though it is a sub 900 save percentage. Um, you know, it, you just you you know you got to take what you can get. Um, and you know if Stanko says that shot, you know you go to overtime. Anything could happen. Hell, it could still be playing at 3:30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, it they're in good shape either way. You know, they got this foot in Chicago. Both teams have, have gone one on one. On their opponent's ice, but I mean, you really can't complain uh, for either team. And I think again, it's destined to go seven. I think Tampa's going to come out flying, regardless of who's in net for uh, for Game Five um, down at Emily Arena. And you know, I think Tampa has been the better team for most of the series. Um, you know, for three out of four games, and that's you know that's just my opinion. I've been wrong before, but you know that's the uh, the way I see it. And I still think, regardless of who's in net, whether it's Bishop or Vajlowski, they have a chance to uh, to close it out and uh, win the Stanley Cup. Anyway, that's our sort of the power play with CJ on uh, Tampa's goaltending situation. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the series and beyond. Later, guys.